Halberdi. Wie ist die sein? In this video, I'll take you to wonderful food tour at Shinjuku. Let's go! Shinjuku Station is the busiest train station in the world. And this is one of the biggest and most famous town in Tokyo. Kabukisho is very popular red light district in Shinjuku. It's also well known as sleepless town. We can hang out all day and night every day. People come to Shinjuku to have some drinking. Shinji Golden Guy is a district where we can find the best local Japanese bar in Tokyo. It'll be very lovely, especially at midnight. However, we can find some great food at Shinjuku too. So I'll share 10 great food and lessons. To watch this video, you see where we should have food at Shinjuku. You can hang out Shinjuku day and night. Okay, let's get started. Please subscribe my channel. First shop that I really recommend is Onigiri Mama. We can have amazing onigiri here. It's completely different from other onigiri. Menu is simple. We can have onigiri and miso soup. There are only counter seats in the shop, and ingredients for onigiri are placed in the showcase. Chef makes tons of onigiri every day. And this chef got trained at number one onigiri shop, Bongo, in Otsuka. We can watch its skills for onigiri, and we can eat just made onigiri right away. People can have onigiri everywhere in Japan, but this onigiri is much better. So this shop is always really busy. Customers are always make lines to have legendary onigiri. This is onigiri. I ordered kotlo and egg yolk and minced chicken onigiri. Onigiri is pretty big. It's as big as my palm. Onigiri is really fluffy. Food of topping is inside of onigiri. I eat onigiri 3 or 4 times a week, but this onigiri is really good. It's pretty much fine to have even one onigiri. Lots of topping is amazing. I'm sure this onigiri is worth to have. But once again, this is a busy shop, so take your time when you visit. If we order miso soup kobo, we can have miso soup with 100 yen discount. It also tastes great. Next my recommended restaurant is Tempura Funabashiya. This is a traditional tempura restaurant. We can eat excellent tempura. We can select tempura meals or tendon for lunch. Inside of the restaurant is very traditional style. Tempura chefs stand in the kitchen and cook and serve just cooked tempura. Sounds of deep fries and smells of tempura and oil are brilliant. It makes me hungry. Once tempura is ready, chefs soon serve tempura one by one. Some side dishes and condiments are also served with tempura. This is tempura dipping sauce. It's made from soy sauce and soup stock. It tastes and smells wonderful. Tempura itself tastes flat, so we usually have tempura with dipping sauce. Just cooked tempura is really crispy, but ingredient is really chewy. It's great! I order tempura course, Takara. We can have two shrimps, one fish, three different kinds of vegetables, green pepper, squash, and onion. Mix ingredients tempura called kakiyage. There are seven different tempura on total. Every single tempura is really good. Tempura roux is really thin and crispy. It's lightly deep fried, so it's not oily at all. Ingredients are really fresh, so I can taste pure flavor of seafood and veggies. Can you hear that? Sound of Christmas is marvelous! If you haven't had authentic tempura, you must have tempura at Funabashiya. Otherwise, you miss great opportunity. First shop that I recommend is Tsurutontan. This is a udon noodles restaurant, and there are so many unique udon noodles we can have. You might find your best udon noodles in your life. Inside of the restaurant is casual space, but it's really gorgeous and elegant as a udon noodles restaurant. Menu is great. We can select tons of different and varieties udon noodles. This is in Kabukicho, and it opens from 11 a.m. to 8 a.m. in the morning. So lineup is not only udon noodles, drinks, side dishes, and other Japanese food are well listed. Today, I'll have carbonara udon noodles. Carbonara is one of the past flavor, but it's really good with udon too. And this is it. A udon noodle bowl is so huge. It's obviously bigger than my hand. I can have huge size udon noodles bowl. The bowl is really big, but amount of udon noodles are normal. We can easily have it all. 
Udon is really chewy and it tastes creamy and eggy. Scrambled egg and low egg yolk taste really rich. It's good with milky carbonara sauce. Japanese loves egg yolk so much. Soup is pretty thick. This is udon noodle, so soup tastes slightly different from carbonara in common. Soup stock lightly smells wonderful. Other ingredients are eggplant, bacon, beef peas, king trumpet mushroom, and lotus root. Collaboration between European style and Japanese style are wonderful. Each ingredient is very much with carbonara soup. Udon noodles are pretty thick and chewy. Noodles take so much tasty soup to the mouth. This is great. Noodles are very smooth. We can stop eating udon at Tsurutontan. Next shop is Taketora. This is a ramen shop where my friend recommends. As he said that, ramen from Taketora is amazing. It serves very thick tonkotsu ramen. This is the menu. Not only tonkotsu ramen, Taketora offers various kinds of ramen, such as shoyu, miso, shio, tonkotsu and shoyu and dipping ramen. Today, I'll share Ura Taketora ramen, which is extremely thick tonkotsu and shoyu flavor. And this is Ura Taketora ramen. It smells very strong of tonkotsu, but it doesn't have any typical odor of tonkotsu. Soup is very thick and gooey. Pork butt fat makes soup even thicker and tastier. For some people, this ramen would be too greasy to have. That much, it tastes very rich. Toppings are shellac gully onion, roasted chashu, seasoned bum shirt, half boiled seasoned egg. Every topping is well cooked and seasoned. These are great to match with very thick tonkotsu ramen. Noodles are very thick and slightly baby noodles. These are amazingly chewy and noodles cling and take lots of soup to the palate. It's so much feeling to have. If you love full flavor of tonkotsu ramen, this is fantastic. Coming next shop is Oroji. This is a tonkotsu restaurant, but its katsukari is very good. It's a hidden gem in Shinjuku. Tonkatsu with Japanese curry is amazing! This is an old-fashioned tonkatsu restaurant. It mainly offers deep-fried pork, tonkatsu. Inside of the restaurant is very calm and relaxed place. This is a Japanese-style restaurant. This is tondo, pork cutlet on rice with curry. Curry is traditional Japanese-style curry. It's really thick. Japanese curry isn't spicy usually, but this is slightly hot. It tastes full of spices and stewed veggies and pork. This is great. I love it. Curry is very stewed, so all the ingredients in curry sauce are melted like soup. Tonkatsu is really thick and meaty. Outside is very crispy with bread clown, and inside is really tender. This is a tonkatsu specialized restaurant, so tonkatsu is of course so tasty. The more I chew it, the more tasty pork juice splits out. This is absolutely Gucci. Tonkatsu is really thick and meaty, but it's not hard at all. Pork is really damp, and it tastes so rich. I also ordered miso soup. It tastes pretty light, so it's very much with a deep fried dish. Ibeko pork bacon is used for this miso soup. It tastes full of flavor of pork as well. Tondon and miso soup are great balance. We came up to half. I just shared tonkatsu, pork cutlet. So next one is a beef cutlet shop, Aona. Aona serves gyukatsu, beef cutlet. We can select some different beef cutlet. Choices are lean meat, kurogi wagyu beef, marbled kurogi wagyu beef gyukatsu beef. Today, I'll share a full mix set, which we can have all different kind of meat in one dish. And this is full mix set. It looks gorgeous. A bowl of rice, soup stock sauce for gyukatsu, three different gyukatsu, Salt and oil sauce and soy sauce are also served with gyukatsu. If beef is cooked too much, meat will be very hot, so gyukatsu is lightly deep fried for about only 40 seconds. Outside is very crispy, and inside meat is very tender and juicy. We can enjoy pure taste of beef. Marbled kurogi wagyu is beautifully similar. It looks awesome, and this is so tender. Once we have it, kurogi wagyu soon starts melting in the mouth. Beef fat is very juicy and tasty. If it is too oily for you, it would be better to put some wasabi. It makes gyukatsu really fresh and even tastier. 
牛カツ is the new style to enjoy beef lots more. I share six different Japanese meals, so let's have desserts next. First up is Takano. This is famous for fruits, and its fruit buffet is brilliant. As I said, this is a fruit specialized shop, so all dishes are related to fruits. Everything looks great and gorgeous. I share the most famous one, fruit buffet for this video. Inside of the shop is very casual and modern space. It's open and wide. It's very lively. And this is a fruit buffet at Takano. So many different kinds of fruits are sprinkled on a special buffet glass. This is amazing. Fruits are nicely garnished. How can I eat them nice and good? Piece of fruits are pretty big. It'll be satisfying for sure. Fruits flavored gelato is another nice of fruits. These are lovely and chewy, I guess. It tastes fresh and juicy. Fruits buffet is really gorgeous. It's a wonderful dessert for the afternoon. I visited Takano Fruits Parlor for the buffet, and there's Takano Fruits Tailor. It was all we can eat fruit. If you love fruits, this is also a wonderful place. Takano is originally a luxurious fruit shop. We can buy fine fruits and food that relate to fruits such as cake and sweet. Quality is excellent. How about for your souvenirs? Second recommended shop is this cafe. It's called Alia. Alia's French toast is so tasty. We order by our mobile phone. Scan the QR code to access the website. Change the language and select number of people. Tap go to menu to go next. Alia is a cafe, so we can have some various kinds of drinks. There's not much food on the menu. We can only have French toast set or Italian panini set. French toast is really famous, so most of customers order French toast so will I. I take French toast with maple sauce. I've heard coffee is also really good, so I take coffee all day for a friend of my French toast. Ballista makes coffee in front of customers from beans. It's so fragrant of coffee. Ballista doesn't use any machines to make coffee. He uses a special coffee device to drip coffee one by one. Inside of the cafe is very lively, but it's very relaxing place too. I've got cafe ole. It smells great aroma of coffee and milk. It tastes really good. This is good to have for the afternoon break. And it's great balance with richness and bitterness. It must be to sweet French toast. Then I got French toast with maple sauce. It smells so good of sugar and milk. French toast is really fluffy. It's pancakey. Surface is very toasted, so it's really crispy. Bread is really buttery and milky. Even if we don't put any maple sauce, it tastes rich enough to enjoy. Not only sun, it tastes wonderful. This is amazing French sauce. Not only afternoon dessert, it could be great breakfast or brunch for a day. If you want more sweetness, it's better to put fresh cream with maple sauce. It tastes much better and sweeter. Aroma of maple sauce is so good. Japan is getting popular with fluffy pancake, but French toast doesn't get defeated. Let's have a look at Japanese dessert too. Next shop is Oiwake Dango. This is a Japanese sweets cafe. We can have some sort of Japanese sweets such as dango, amitsu, etc. Today, I share some kind of Japanese famous sweets, dango. Inside of the cafe is very calm and cozy space. This is a Japanese style decoration. This is dango kombo. From the left, mitarashi, goma, matcha, and anko. These are pretty famous dango flavor, and mitarashi is the most popular dango in Japan. Dango is really chewy, and it's amazingly stretchy. I can't believe it. It's incredible. Flavor of the face is topped on dango. Three pieces of dango is on the skewer. Matcha tastes so rich and it's really smooth. Black sesame is very flavorful. Mashed ground sesame is grainy and this is good. Smashed light bean paste is pretty rough, but this texture is really enjoyable. It has gentle sweetness. Mitarashi is a dango which is covered by soy glass. Mitarashi sauce is pretty sweet and it's very gooey. If you want to try fast dango in your life, this is the best one to try. This dango is very chewy yet soft. I think this is one of the best dango I've ever had. Takeaway dango is also ready. 
it's packed one by one so we can have dango anywhere you want the last shop that I recommend in Shinjuku is Chano Ikedaya. This is a Japanese tea shop and matcha soft serve is the one that I want to share. We can buy some different types of green tea drinks and also some soft serves. I ordered matcha soft serve called Hubuki. Matcha flavored soft cream and so much matcha powder is sprinkled on top. It tastes full of flavor of matcha. If you love matcha, this is the one that you must have. However, once you have Hubuki, your palate immediately turns to green like a zombie. So this is Shinjuku. I could share only 10 dishes in the video. But there are tons of things and we can have even greater adventure in Shinjuku. If you know any great places in Shinjuku, please share in the comment box. Thank you for watching the video till the end. I hope this video helps your travel in Japan. I hope you enjoyed my video. These are my recommendation videos that you may like. Please click the like button and subscribe my YouTube channel and follow my social medias. This is all of today. Have a good day and good night. Bye!